everyone, we're here today to reveal our premier modern traditional box. This box is going to be a semi-annual, which is new for us. As you know, all of our previous boxes, which we are still keeping, are quarterly. And this one is now going to be a semi-annual, so you'll be receiving your box spring-summer. And then your next box for this will be a fall-winter. The modern traditional style is defined as current meets classic. It will be a fusion between simple, clean, modern lines and your traditional furniture, fixtures, and accessories. And just to add here, so you both know, we have two co-stars today, uh, one being Liam, and you might have seen him before with our picture of the artichoke when we introduced it. He's our model, and he's very excited to be with us. And then we have Lily over here who decided that no video could be made without her in it, so... Here she is. And then Maddie's gonna give you a little bit of an explanation about more, more to what is in your box. What you can expect to see in your box will be about the same five to six items um, in your box. And then they will be of higher value, kind of more substantial um, items. You will definitely be able to tell. It kind of rivals the size of our Lux box. Oops. <laughs> that was on me, so please lift very carefully when you receive your box. It's rather large. You'll see later in this video uh, as to the size of this premiere box. I may have gotten a little carried away with the pieces that we chose for you. However, it's very exciting for us. We do have to share because 3rd and Main was the first box of Home to the Core subscription box on the market, and since then we've had many new um, peers come in and we all offer similar items. So modern farmhouse design, contemporary design. There's even, you'll see in some of the boxes, a great fusion, almost a, a boho-esque look to them. And so with that being said though, as you'll notice, many of you actually subscribe to several different home decor subscription boxes. So we can only imagine how many pieces you're receiving every quarter. That is in part um, one of the reasons why we decided to introduce this box to you. It's always important for us that you love your pieces, that you love your decor, that we continue to build from season to season for you so that you actually have a collection of decor pieces rather than several pieces that don't really meld together well between seasons. And we're also hearing from many of our members and actually conversations amongst ourselves, which I could have sworn to you two years ago would never have been the case. However, now, too much decor. <laughs> we are actually swimming in too much decor and as much as we love it, sometimes the old saying is true, you can actually have too much of something. And many of our members have written to say, you love the pieces, um, you're subscribing to several boxes, and you're just receiving too much. That prompted a conversation, <clears throat> pardon me, with all of us as to how do, we, how do we do this? How do we change this for you so that you still get the pieces that you love, now you're just getting them less often, and what's most exciting for us is that these pieces are definitely higher value pieces. So there are many partners that we've wanted to work with over these last several years and just haven't had opportunity. This new box allows us the opportunity to bring in new partners, so new pieces that you haven't yet seen and uh, that higher quality piece. So when you see it, you'll know exactly what we're talking about. You'll feel it, you'll be very proud to display your pieces. That's what we want for you. So we would like to go ahead and probably we'll pause it here. This is our first video, by the way, so we might add some outtakes at the end, which should keep you laughing. We'll kept pause. Us <laughs> it, kept us, it kept us laughing. You will, um, we'll pause it here, and then we'll go ahead and start pulling out the pieces for you, explain them, let you actually see them. We do also realize that these videos are really important for you because you need to see dimension and scale. And it's so hard to do in the photos. Um, as several of you have said in emails to us or Facebook messages, Instagram messages, oh my goodness, we didn't know how big that was. I.e. The, um, the pine cone candle holder from the Lux box. 
So when one of our wonderful members held it up, had her daughter hold it up to her head, you could actually see how large it was. However, the photos just didn't do it justice. Therefore, we thought, why don't you see them for yourselves? So we'll be back very shortly. And we're back after our little short break and we're ready to go ahead and unbox the modern traditional for you. So this is the size of box that your items will be shipping in. A little big. <laughs> and let me go ahead and pull out the first item, which is Mel's favorite. Mel, do you want to talk a little bit about it? Yes. Okay. So this is my piece. This is my favorite piece out of the box. Don't get me wrong. I love every piece in the box because we put it together for you. However, I love this space. And I love this space so much because it is absolutely the definition of modern traditional. So you've got the traditional shape of the base and then the modern piece of this base is actually the design. We love it, we paired it with greens as you know. We did it with um, two bouquets, if you will, or bundles of eucalyptus. This base is actually handcrafted and as you can tell, we're giving you, uh, we're giving you scale. So it's big, it's big, <laughs> it's pretty heavy. It's not too heavy to handle, but it, you'll feel it you'll understand that it actually has some, um, some weight to it and it's a little girthy. So this one is handcrafted, obviously hand-painted. Now it's painted to be an intentionally distressed look to it. It's not supposed to look uniform and very clean. So you've got all of the white striping here and then you've got the beige and this is where they, in, you'll see that they went in and they intentionally made some distressed marks and streaks to it. That's to be expected and no surprise to you when you receive it. It actually gives it a lot more character in my opinion and one of the reasons why I chose it when I saw it. So big base mm -hmm. and I'm going to put him back here for now. And just for reference, he's measuring 15 inches high and he has a nine inch diameter. He's big. <laughs> Alrighty, Maddie, should we do your favorite next? Sure. Okay. Maddie's favorite. Okay, really, we all love this too, but this was Maddie's favorite. To me, when I hear modern traditional, I see, I mean, pretty much this, a kind of almost statue-like, going back to the more traditional side. Um, and then he's kind of three-dimensional. His uh, leaves are kind of pop off a little bit, and then he's very textured. Um, so that's kind of why I like him so much. He's more on the unique side, um, more unique, more traditional. He's a lovely piece and it goes so well with the vase and you can put this anywhere in your house. So you don't have to have the vase and the finial together. You could put these in different spots. You can have it on your entryway table, um, console, fireplace, credenza. It's a great piece and really versatile. So we love it. And Maddie is right, just so you also know about this. Also, pretty heavy piece here. Um, Nicole's going to measure him for you. He's 12 inches tall and 6 inches in diameter again. He's a really, really good size. Yes, and what we'll do is at the end of this video, we'll go ahead and also include some photos so you can see it close up, so you can actually see the texture and the pieces. So he's been formed and cast, and then Maddie's right, he's definitely just like an artichoke, and we all know how you've got the buds kind of opening up at the top there, and each piece is in between. So it's opened up in between here, and then he was um, cast in the white. So you're gonna love it, this is a great piece. Actually, her favorite. Um, I swear I almost caught her sneaking out with one the other day, so I had to <laughs> stop her, but he'll go back here as well. Okay, so my favorite is the eucalyptus bundle that we put as the insert for this vase. Doesn't have to be used specifically for this vase, but it definitely can be. This is how we will be wrapping them and shipping them to you, making sure they're nice and protected, getting to you safely. Uh, they are real eucalyptus. They've been preserved and dried. They were originally in Oregon, in Portland, Oregon. My favorite part is it just smells like rain, hay, weather, I, something, yes. nature. It just, I just love it. It just reminds me of like Halloween for some reason. 
Um, this just looks beautiful. And once you get started and playing with it a little bit, it doesn't take much to fluff it. Put, once you put that in the base and it really just speaks for itself, very easy to care for and we love these. These are our little babies. <laughs> we love it. We, um, we wrapped it this way intentionally. Just, you know, when you are getting this box, we want you to feel special and we want you to feel it's a gift to yourself. Therefore, we just thought we'd add a little wrapping to this. To add to what Nicole was saying about your preserved eucalyptus, this will actually last you for several years, so you know. It's just about caring for it. So the main uh, intent here on caring for your eucalyptus is don't leave it directly in the sunlight, obviously. Uh, if you do, he will dry out even more and then it will become a little brittle and um, start to break and it also will dull a little in color. When you're taking care of it, all you really need to do is we found is we just take a, a light dust with a feather duster and just give it a little brush off and that will get rid of any dust that's collecting on it. And we just make sure that we don't put it in direct sunlight. If you do those two things, you will have it for years to come. So this is, these are great. And you get two bundles in this packaging. Alrighty. The next item I'm gonna bring out is this beautiful tray. Go ahead and look at those circular handles. He's nice and flat on the bottom. You wanna talk a little bit about this? Yes, so piece? this is our high cement tray and um, dried, braided. It is, how long Nicole would you say? Let's measure 18 by 12 by four. He's deep as well. This tray caught my eye um, because originally when I was looking around for pieces to go with this box, I wasn't quite sure where we wanted to go with the accent pieces. And then we saw this and I thought, yes. So as you know, I mean, we can ask how many people need another tray. I always need another tray. I always find a reason for another tray. This we decided would look great. So stack some books in here and you'll see later in one of the photos. So we put books inside and then we stacked the um, finial on the books. You can also pair this really well with one of the hurricanes that you'll be seeing, your tea light holder. They go beautifully together. Obviously, we also um, add another piece you'll soon be seeing on the decor shop and that's a uh, four link wooden chain. And so that goes really well, kind of coming out and flowing over from the tray onto a table. One more piece, we'll put that back behind here. Perfect, and we'll start with the largest size here. Suspended votive tea light holder. He is measuring almost nine inches high and five inches in diameter. So this is a three tea light holder. And I saw these when we were uh, in one of the showrooms with one of our partners and it caught my eye immediately. I went right to it. The girls were laughing at me because I think we were mid conversation and I just turned and went to these and I thought, yes, they're very classic, yet it is a modern take on a classic. And I love them most because as we all know, I'm very particular about the um, depth of the glass. Right? So when the glass is too thin, you have to worry about it being so fragile and breaking on you. This is a nice thick glass and I'm gonna tap on it, but that's what I do in the showrooms. They laugh at me. I'm walking around touching everything, flicking everything. They're beautiful. We suggest pairing them with a tea light. I love the idea of the flameless tea lights because that way you don't have to worry about wax, you know, burning in and dripping in. Some people really love that look. And if you love that look, go for it by all means. If you just want it to stay clean, then we suggest using one of the flameless tea light holders or tea lights. They're beautiful. They go great in here. Um, you could either do a bright white or kind of more of that amber color tea light. Either would look beautiful with it. Yes, I've even thought about putting maybe a little bit of a green color in there. Kind of good. fool with the eucalyptus. You can kind of play around with us, see what you like better, let us know. And we'll pull out its little buddy. <laughs> so he's about five inches high and four inches in diameter. 
Same with this piece here. This one's just a two T light holder and this one's your three T light holder. The uh, thickness of the glass is the same for both, which I love. So when you get your box, you'll actually get both of these pieces in your box with your tray, with your vase, with your artichoke finial, and then you'll also get two bundles of the preserved eucalyptus. What we did for several for our members is we offered an additional piece for them should they choose it because sometimes we love things in threes. And this is a single tea light holder. So you do have the option to pick that up if you want it. If not, you've got these two pieces and they're beautiful together. So that is the contents of your box. And what we'd like to do again is we're probably gonna pause one more time here, pick it back up and we're gonna style these for you so you can see what we did. And then uh, give us, we would love your suggestions, comments down below. Let us know how you styled yours. Please share your photos. Uh, your boxes are gonna be coming out to you in the next several, I think three weeks. They'll be shipping to you. So we can't wait to see what you do with them. And we will see you soon. Yay. are back again to show you how we styled this box. All right, so I chose to style one of my favorite items in this box by elevating it in our wrapped basket with some books. You can use anything like cookbooks, reading books, anything like that. And then uh, just pair him with our tea light holder. Yeah, so I styled the suspended glass tea light candle holder. I did use LED candles, so they look real, but they are not a little bit safer. That's kind of my preference. I have a lot laying around the house, so I use those. And I just fluffed up this eucalyptus in here, so I made sure he's nice and wide. He does speak for himself, as you can see. Um, and that is pretty much it. And that's a wrap on our first video that you'll be seeing on YouTube. We hope that you love our modern traditional box. We're very excited to share with you some really big news here on uh, 222 of this month. So lots to share with you. But this being our premier semi-annual box, we hope you love it as much as we do. And we will be back in the next little while with the Lux box. Bye. Thank Bye. you.